Hi, beautiful people. I'm Lacrea, and I'm here to show you how to make your own almond milk. If you're anything like me, you are a plant-based eater or you want to become more of a plant-based eater and you want to drink something healthy in the morning with your cereal or with your smoothies, I'm here to show you how to make almond milk from scratch. You literally only need five ingredients. One ingredient is water. The other ingredients are almonds. I soaked two cups of almonds for eight hours. Add them to the blender. And then I pitted four dates. I have a teaspoon of sea salt. And then I have a teaspoon and a half, maybe two teaspoons of Madagascar vanilla. And the dates is a natural sweetener. Vanilla makes things sweet as well and sea salt makes things obviously taste better because we don't want it bland. I'm gonna use my Vitamix that my husband gave me for Mother's Day. He invested in my health. I was so glad to receive this. Vitamix, it is going to make such a beautiful, good tasting almond milk. And I will set my Vitamix on an eight, and I'm gonna set it for about, and let it go for about a minute 30. It literally is already milk <laughs> and the minute and this is the part I love when I make my almond milk soon as I take my top off it smells so good I smell the vanilla I smell the sweetness of the dates I'm gonna strain this and I'll come right back to show you all how to properly strain your almond milk so the next part of making your own almond milk is obviously straining it. I use this nut milk bag that I got off Amazon. It perfectly strains things instead of using cheesecloth or a filter. So here's the almond milk that you all saw me make. I pour it directly into the bag and I pour it pretty slow because it gets heavy. And as you see, it's coming out looking just like milk. Okay, and let me stop there. And inside my sink is a bowl, as you see, and the milk is literally just pouring out into the bowl. Once this is properly strained, what's gonna be left is called almond meal that you can dehydrate and create your own almond flour. It is a very lengthy process. I have yet to make my almond meal to almond flour. So I'd rather just right now allow my milk to strain out of the nut milk bag. 
and I took off my rings because I didn't want anything interfering with this process. Wash my hands really good. And I'm gonna start just wringing it out like you wring a towel. And then we are nearing the end of this process of making your own almond milk. And it took me a minute 30 on the last video from all the five ingredients. And it's taking me about a minute and a half just to properly strain it. And I'm gonna show you all what the almond meal looks like, what's left once you strain your almond milk. This is what the almond meal looks like, just like that, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side and now the next thing for me to do, and really the last thing, is to get a nice glass bottle and to pour it carefully into the glass container. As you all see, and I have the camera at a perfect angle, I'm so happy. This almond milk is healthy for you. It's plant-based. It is free of any preservatives. It's free of anything toxic because I know exactly what I put in this almond milk. I'm gonna let it chill overnight and enjoy it on tomorrow. I hope you all have a blessed day.